How's it going everybody? My name is Ace Streamline and welcome back to Metroid Prime Remastered. I'm now going on part 3 and last time I managed to get the charge beam and the North Ball Bomb and an assortment of uh, expansions, so I'm going to play some more because I'm having some fun. Alright, here we go. I do like how it shows the amount of time my progress and whatnot, see the completion percentage. 10% right now. I'm gonna try to make it on. That'll be great. Now, I don't know for certain, but I'm kind of hoping that I can at least get my icon iconic look back and soon. Let's continue exploring the chosen ruins then. There we go. I'm gonna have Shriek Rats attack me. Yep. And I like stuff coming towards my face, thank you very much. Ah. So, trying to discriminate the plus and minus buttons. My bad. In any case, uh, let's see. I haven't explored the top of that tree yet, and uh, as far as I remember, that one other... Yeah, that door leads to something hot, and I can't go there yet. And I can't go there, if I, even if I wanted to. Technically I could, I just wouldn't be able to reach that door. That purple door right there. Not yet, at least. So, my only lead is to... Uh, Climb up that tree and uh, go to that entrance that's up there. Okay. Dang it. Make sure I'm going the right way. Yes. Alright. Out of my way. Jerks. Okay, let's do this. Wasps. Wasps are annoying. Let's take about your hive. Yeah. There were actually a bunch of points where I decided to spray a wasp nest with wasp spray. And, uh, I... Well, when I was about to do it, it kind of looked like that they were staring at me, giving me the death glare. And after I sprayed them, I'm like, shoot! Running the heck away. I don't technically need that. Wrong button. Ow. Of course I've also just blasted that. Now I need it. I gotta find matching symbols. There's one there. Activated. Uh, I need to find uh, three others. Okay, somewhere around this room. Poison's not good for plants. Go back down and swirl around, see if I can find those symbols without jumping into the poison. Keep in mind that falling from a long distance doesn't always work. Sometimes it does hurt. Those vines are going to spawn back. 
Sue me if I get hit. Ow. Dang it. The ride range is short, but it can be a big nuisance. Yep, I was right. has been activated. Alright. Two more to find. Falling. Sandstone. There we go. I'm just gonna grab some where I am. Actually, it appears I missed a room back there. I think I already know where I'm headed, but I've opened the door anyway, so... Uh, I might as well backtrack a little before I proceed forward. I'll come back. Funny. 
where you fireflies were for a minute. I really need to stop doing that. So I can't go in that direction because it was too hot. And, uh, yeah, specifically where I need to go is just through this room. And uh, go all the way for that missile expansion, as well as that one room there that's blocked by a missile door. Not hard. Just gonna go around a bit. Specifically, I just want to do some preparation before I uh, proceed normally. Butters, aren't they? Let's see if I can rush past them. Sort of. Thanks for the health, though. anyway because, well, I lost my grapple beam. Yeah, I'm gonna need something stronger in order to break that. Grass before I'm going. through here. I'm decently strong enough to hold my own, so I should be fine. That missile expansion. Oh, right, right, right. Should have done that first. Get up there. I can only jump once, but that won't be a problem later. Just some expansion acquired. As you get more abilities in new areas, you are going to have to keep track tracking with your new powers and stuff. Now that's part of the fun of this game, is being able to use your newfound abilities, go back where you've been before, and then be able to make yourself more powerful through getting expansions and whatnot. Not like monsters. But brain from sticking. Hey! Alright, so... Brimstone. <laughs> yeah, another missile expansion. Means I can carry up to 30 missiles now. Yeah, this is what I was looking for for a while. 
Recruiting to Lockbook. I believe I missed it, but anyway. Research. A new research entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Map station. Walk into the map station holograms to download a map of the area you're in. I meant to do that back on the friggin' Orpheum, but I sort of slipped my mind. But hey, I got it now. So now I can view the map entirely, and see areas that I have not explored, and yeah, that's kind of why I bailed out there, because I knew I was going to encounter the boss in that room, and uh, I kind of wanted to do some things first. So I can't explore there because, well, I can't survive the heat, I can't get there because I don't have the resource to get there yet, so uh, yeah, I've pretty much gotten uh, through most of what I wanted to go through around here, I'm just going to go through this area again, so that way I can get the missile expansion that I left there. Then I'll go back to the tree and then go fight that boss. Oh, while getting every uh, expansion that I can. For instance, there should be one here. And another missile expansion. Yeah, I couldn't get there through there before because I didn't have the uh, the morphal bomb going to jump in that hole. So hey, oh, I thought the thing was gonna blind me for a bit. <laughs> Oh no, I'm blind! I'm blind! I'm blind! Alright. Here we go. I'm well aware of that. Just so I can get that off. I said I was gonna go there. That will be the instant shortcut down to the use of bombs. Breaking those stones there. Self tip top shape. 
Rooms are now giving you less expenditures to receive more health and whatnot. I can't consider a clee triming to be a uh, background of a hobby. Up, please. Oh man. Not quite sure they can get me here though. Almost. But no, no dice. What the fudge with the invisible wall? Where'd you go? symbols I saw before, but I can't scan it. Hey! That was close. But hey, tip-top shape, like I said. And here we are. much. Not to mention toxic. Creature's entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Morphology is Logra. This mutant plant is the source of the toxic water in the ruins. Logra's growth cycle has been radically accelerated. As a result, it requires near constant exposure to solar energy to remain active. This exposure has made Logra's outer shell thick and durable. Its lower root system is unprotected and vulnerable. However, Exploit this flaw when possible. Concentrated weapon fire can daze it for short periods. So in other words, just keep firing till I stop. Ah, she's got those two. Richard's entry has been downloaded to your logbook. One of Logger's tentacles fills this narrow drainage channel. Analysis indicates that Logger's central nervous system is located at the base of this structure. Now that he's stunned. No sunlight. No photosynthesis. No energy. Plants don't take too, too kindly to fire. He's not going to make this easy now, is he? 
plants too. I just gotta hit him two more times. He's done. Likewise, it gets harder each time. And now that the source of the poison has been eradicated, the rest of the water purifies. Won't have to deal with that now. And here we are. It's party time! P A R T. Why? Because I gotta get the various suit! armored now. The iconic look that we all know and love. Area suit acquired. Dangerous areas of heat are now accessible. And additional data. More extras. So yeah, now I can survive in heated environments. I am actually going to have to come back to this area sometime later. Nope. Yeah, there's nothing down here. But hey, at least I'm not being poisoned now. Yeah, I guess that came out of nowhere. In any case. Yep. 
guess I also could have gotten the missile expansion that way, but, uh, well, before I go down that elevator to Magmore Caverns, I do want to go through that area now that I can go through extreme heat. Thanks to the various suit. So by this point, I pretty much have gotten back everything that I lost on Frigate Orpheum, but, uh, well, except my grapple beam. Problem is, though, I will not get that back for a long time. Free of poison. Didn't entirely mean to fall down there. But hey, at least I'm not being poisoned now. I jumped. What the fudge? That doesn't matter. I just walked through it anyway. Recording to logbook. Entry is downloaded to logbook. Ultra energy replenishes 10, 100 units of energy. In other words, a full energy tank. Oh yeah, these guys. Recording to logbook. New creatures entry is downloaded to my logbook. It's a pulse bomb. Life form of raw energy. Radically releases explosive segments. Pulse bombs are energy beings invulnerable to most known weapons. Electrical energy can harm them. However, they lack any intelligence beyond an instinctive attraction to other charged energy sources. Pulse bomb bombs produce energy constantly. All excess energy is shed, regardless of who or what may be nearby. Yeah, my power ring is not going to work on that. Yeah, be careful when sucking stuff in because, well, it's attracted to your charge beam. It'll suck it in, too. Alright. Yeah, this is that same room that I was in before. Oh, I think I actually know where the other two symbols were that I couldn't find before. Just gotta be careful when I fall down. Ow. Ow! Jerk. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Lost for Sardum. Oh, that didn't work. Find the voice made out of Fortnite. Inside that heated area, then I'll come back. As you notice, the uh, light inside my morph ball mode has changed due to me getting the barrier suit. In the original version of this game, there was uh, an extra special thing you could do where you could uh, choose to have the Fusion suit while you're playing the game from Metroid Fusion. In order to get that, however, you needed to connect Metroid Fusion to the game of Metroid Prime. involve that for the Metroid Prime Trilogy version, but uh, I'm not sure they involved it for this version of the game. I guess I'll find out. I kind of like that stream of light there. It's not poison anymore, so I can actually get up there. Yeah, I would 
I would go into Morph Ball mode and then use this fountain right here, but, uh... The problem is, I don't have what I need for the Magnetic Rail there. Not yet. before because it was super hot. But it appears I can't really uh, through here anyway because, well, I don't have the grapple gun. Just a way to get back up in case you fall into the magma. Alright, enough of that. I'm gonna head over to Magma Caverns. there again. No biggie. Poison's gone. And... Yep. Sorry, I just had to think for a sec. So, let's go. Yes, for other Metroid games on the Switch, if you have Nintendo Switch Online, you can play some of the classic ones like the original Metroid and Super Metroid. The original Metroid used to be playable on uh, the GameCube version of uh, Metroid Prime. Uh, I don't think that'd be the case here, because you can already play that on Nintendo Switch Online for this console. And I've already played uh, Metroid Dread. I have to say that game was actually pretty good. So here I'm about to enter a place that is really high in temperature. And I wouldn't have survived here without the uh, very soon. Protect myself from the extreme heat. Ah, street bats. Again? They always jump. At least 
least expect it. Alright. And it's about the same station here. Alright, I'm gonna play a little more and then I'm gonna call this part good. Stay out of my way. Recording to the logbook. A new creature's entry has been done to my logbook. Morphology, it's a grisby. Subvolcanic carrier feeder. Car carapace can be reached by missiles. Grizzly's carapace has been fused together by superheated air. This barrier stands up to everything but concussive blasts. Its intelligence is limited to instinctive scouting patterns. Expansions are a good thing. Ah. Recording to the logbook. Spit in my face. Creature's entry is bundled into my logbook. Morphology, it's a burrower. Tunneling insect predator. Similar to the beetle, though it spends more time underground and seeks. <clears throat> It seeks seism seismic disturbances, then surfaces to attack. It has enough cunning to realize when something is too large for it to handle. Beyond that, it's fairly ignorant. What it lacks in brains, it makes up for with aggression. Yeah, ignorant what it's facing. Just vanished. I must have just destroyed a right of six points to the ground. Here we are, back more caverns. Creature's entry has been done into Lockbrook. It's a Magmore. Fire-breathing serpent that dwells in lava. Magmores prefer extreme heat zones and are susceptible to frigid attack forms. Sightless, they navigate the lava currents using their sonar receptors. Magmores have a keen sense of smell, enabling them to pinpoint targets with startling accuracy. Unfortunately, my current firepower is kind of lacking. A new creature's entry has been downloaded to my logbook. It's a puffer. Unstable gas-filled organism with rupture on contact. Puffers fill their bodies with lethal metaviprum gas and float about in search of food. If ruptured, the gas within the puffer is violently released. Despite their fragile bodies, puffers are aggressive hunters. The gas cloud they release upon death is often fatal to the creature that brings them down as well. So I might as well just shoot him now. Still missing at least one thing. Just glad I'm decently equipped right now. Plus, there'll be a lot more power ups that I can acquire playing this game.
Oh, I hate these things. New creatures entry downloaded to my logbook. A triclops. Hard shell creature with powerful jaws. The triclops is a hunter gatherer. It collects small creatures and bits of food stuff and then deposits them elsewhere for later some <laughs> later consumption. The hard tripartite, tripartite mandibles it uses to move earth and rock are quite strong and difficult to escape once it's snared. Yeah. Insist on that. Alright, so. I don't like these things at all. So they're nothing more but a nuisance. Stand on them too long. So don't just linger there. Before, usually these doors took forever to open sometimes, mostly because it was loading the next room area. Doesn't seem to be too much of a problem here now. Counter turrets again. And they appear to be tougher. Whoa, no touchy. 
No touchy. No touch. another elevator. So I can have this room on map. Yeah, even if I tried, I can't get through here because I don't have the magnetic rail. The good thing that allows me to use the magnetic rail. So, ask at that. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I'm gonna end this part pretty soon. Fortunately, I know of a safe station close by. to the top of this room here, there's no way I'd be able to open the door that's all the way up there. That's gonna have to wait. very close by. And, uh... Yeah, I'll just save it and end this part, but, uh, I'm kind of going the wrong direction.
there should have been a way to get through there at about this point. Actually, I do remember. I can't really get it right now, so... I've been at this for a while. I'm just gonna go ahead and save it. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you enjoyed me fighting a boss and getting the awesome Varia suit. And, uh, yep. I'll see you guys in the next part. It's all my bliss.